magic circles around a central spot on the photographic plate now the same equation continues here also 2d sin theta is equal to n lambda here d is equal to lambda divided by for first order n is equal to 1 lambda divided by 2 sin theta theta is small then it will be sin theta equal to theta here tan 2 theta is equal to r by l he is giving here from this triangle this triangle this this triangle this is base this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base r by l so here it will be r by l equal to 2 theta because ta theta is also small so it can be equal to 2 theta so these two equations will give you r by l equal to lambda by d so, 2 theta here equal to this one here 2 theta is nothing but lambda by d so it, it, this implies lambda is equal to dr by l these are the physical things which we can measure for nth order it will be n lambda is equal to dr by l or lambda equal to dr by n f now this is found to be same as the de broglie wavelength of electron when you calculate from the experiments and de broglie wavelength is of course 12.27 by root of v these two tally each other so that is the experimental evidence for saying that electrons are behaving like waves okay so also what happens is here they have given another proof also they have put x-rays instead of that then there was no diffraction pattern and the electron gun moved this way that way this figure used to move that way this way so it was concluded that it is these electrons which are producing the effect so these two experiments have no doubt supported the dual nature of matter in my next class i will be back with a quantum picture of a material particle we will see there Schrodinger wave equations time dependent thank you